All right, guys, this is DJ Wolf. I can hear the sirens coming, blaring out here already. It look like I can't tell which way they're going. They're like they going uh, northbound? Yeah, they're going northbound. Okay, anyway, let me let that die down a little bit as it hits the road. You know, I just happen to be uh, watching these videos and stuff. Going, you know, about uh, Will Jada and uh, Chris Rock. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, I was just thinking, Jada, as messed up as she is, ain't the first woman, black woman in Hollywood, to do that to a man. See, the first one I could recall in recent memory is she ain't the first one. But one of the things that I, I noticed in particular it, it's it's from a long line of bad habit of black women who've done it to their men for forever really and here's the bad part about it the bad part about it is they never stop these are the same women who talk about I wish I could get me a good man do you know any good man to get out here to do what get used by women like you really you know, just saying. I was in a. I was in a. Sorry, just this right quick. I was in a club years ago. Actually, I was outside of a club years ago, back back in the eighties when I was still single. And I was trying. I was trying to meet this girl. So her girlfriend, of course, she had to just snatch her along with us. I don't know. I think we went to another club, or I dropped them off somewhere. I don't remember. And she told about the yoga friend, blah, 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 blah. The yoga had heavy friends, guy, um, the light skinned guy, got Mercedes and all that shit. I mean, she was naming off everything, all the qualifications that she had to have. I was like, well, what about you? What do you have, you know? And, she, you know, and I was like, she was annoying the hell out of me, first of all. How the hell you going to sit there and, and talk about what his qualifications is? How would you feel? And it, but, but these are the same women. Uh, I think they came out with a, uh, somebody came out years ago about a rating system about type of women. And they, and they was like, oh, you can't do that to women. But women can do that to guys. Why is it that the, 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 the women can rate the guys on how they look, uh, what their uh, dollar value is and everything, but a guy can't do that with a woman? Really? You telling me it's okay? Women do it all the time. They, they judge guys all the time. But a guy, if a guy judges women, oh, you're messing with her self-esteem. Get the fuck out of here. You're messing with that bullshit, for real. You're messing with her self-esteem. Please. Really? And that just annoys the hell out of me. You mean to tell me it's okay for you to mess with a man's self-esteem? Not that a man should let it bother. You can mess with, talk about how, uh, what, what you expect from a man, you know, based on what he has to offer. Because love ain't enough, you know. But a man can't expect the same from a woman. Really? And then you wonder why a lot of black guys, black uh, high dollar value guys like athletes and stuff like that, don't date black women. And you know what? I don't blame them. I really don't. Why should I blame them? You know? The same, the, the same women that those guys won't date are just like their mama. Basket cases, and I don't blame them. You know, I'm one of those guys. Like, <laughs> I don't want nobody like my mom. You want somebody like? No, I don't. No, hell no. The last thing any guy, I mean, you know, most guys any, anyway would not want is a woman to be just like their mom. Hell to the no. Matter of fact, you don't want to be like your mom at all. You want to be your, your wife. Yeah, you mean, oh, you want your girlfriend or whatever. Or be, be like be like your mama. If you like your mama, you might as well not even be dating her. Dating no women at all. You know? Just saying. I mean, that that's crazy. I want to brother my mama. Man, I, man, I hope I never run into no sip saying no, no bullshit like that. Because you gotta be a sip to say some mess like that. I don't care who you are. I want to buy it just like my mama. Hell no. Mm. No, no, you don't. Mm. 
do you, you a fool. And yes, I said it, you're an absolute fool. You know, who the hell would want to be around their mama 24 7 like that? If you did somebody just like your mama. And number two, it would be freaking weird. <clears throat> it absolutely would. Anyway, um, but Jada, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I don't want to say nothing too bad about it because I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the truth. Outside of her marriage with her and Will and the entanglements that she had over the years, I actually like Jada. I like Jada as much as I do Will. You know, for a number of reasons. She's a beautiful young woman. She's downright sexy as hell. You gotta give her that. You know, and uh, and she's a little on the sassy side. You know. Like that. Wow. Anyway, but would she be considered marriage material if I was after her? I don't know. I don't kind of, on some respect, don't think so. You know, I didn't think so ever. Uh, I used to watch her on television for many years, and I never thought she was the marrying type. I never thought that. I just never thought she was the marrying type. Anybody or the type that I, a woman I would marry. Never thought that. Never thought that once. No, that's why I was shocked that even Will had thought that. But you know, Will just—he admitted in his book that he's kind of a hopeless romantic, which is why he—he's so infatuated with Jada anyway. That's another whole story, you know. And he's been a hopeless romantic for most of his life, you know, even when he was younger. I kind of was like that too, but then I kind of over the years kind of figured out the ways, the ins and outs to, you know, a, a women to a point where, although I am kind of like that with my wife to a certain degree I still lay down the law I still lay down the rules you know there's still some ground rules in the relationship you know they have them with you you should have them with them but seriously you got to otherwise you know it'll be entanglement going wild you don't want that you know like I said and I, and I'll admit, we don't really know what is really going between them two in the house other than what they said publicly over the years. You know? And that's what we judge. We all judge about what we think. We judge about what we hear. And we judge about what we see. Contrary to what other people say, you don't know what's really going on in the house. Well, we wouldn't know if they didn't tell us about it. <laughs> you know? That's the whole point. Don't talk. Nobody will ever tell. Nobody would ever know. You know? But she talks about Red Table Talk all the time on her show about a lot of her stuff. You know? And she get other guests like uh, Alicia, uh, uh, what been, uh, Alicia Curry and his mother to talk about their businesses on her show. You know? So why is that a surprise about we knowing all we know about Jenny and Will's personal business? That's because they talk about it. On the Red Table Talk show. You know, I talk about certain things on this channel in other channels about certain things, but there's other things I don't talk about. You know, you know, I, I may say, you know, I've been married by such and such, and you know, and blah, 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 love my wife, blah, blah, blah. But that's pretty much as far as I go with. I don't go anything beyond that. I don't go talk about it. Because it ain't nobody's business. You know? But I can honestly say this. Uh, uh, your People are right. J.D. and Will's uh, marriage is not our business. But they made it our business. You put it out there. Guess what people are going to start doing? They're going to talk about it. You guys are public figures. You put it out in public. People want to talk about it. You know? And she made a, a pretty much a mockery out there about their relationship. You know, and people were saying they were thinking that it's a matter of Will loving Jada and Jada not really loving Will like that. And I'm actually believing that more and more. I really do believe that. I think that when it comes right down to brass tax and everything, I think that her heart is only there because of the fact that she got a guy who really is into her. And she, if you if you watch her, she she 
does appear to be coming off like very regalish like she does she really do she come off uh, coming off very regalish like like oh I don't wear them I don't wear them even the way she dress you know I'm looking at that dress and I know it's, it's very uh, royalty regal like dress that she wore with Will and Toe you know but I'm not going to crack on about about a ball here. No, I'm not. Somebody pointed out. Someone pointed out on the on the YouTube channel, and I didn't think about this. Uh, that they think that uh, Jada and Willow, who both have very low cut hair, might have been doing it as a. As uh, signifying Tupac, you know, you know, uh, Willow wrote a, a letter to Tupac, saying at the end of the letter that she wished that Tupac could come back to make her mommy happy. That's a direct quote out the letter. You know, in fact, I think she read it on Red Table Talk. If I'm not mistaken, I think, but I'm not sure. I don't remember. I have to go back and look. But for her to say that means. Uh, that Jada been putting the business out even out to the daughter by her relationship with Will and how she uh, sizes Will up up against uh, Tupac because there's no way no 10 year old daughter at the time won't even think about some rapper she never knew about before she was born and write in the letter that she wish she could come back to make her mommy happy another man yeah, because Jada was crying to her about it. She was boohooing about it somewhere. She had to be. She had to be. You know? And like I said, I wouldn't know otherwise. But she, they put the business out there like that. You know? That's what I'm talking about. That's why people been talking about it. Y'all already know. Somewhere along the line, she was telling willow how much she was really about tupac she couldn't let it go in the memory of the the the, the, the thing that she had with tupac that she did didn't never have with will and that's obvious that's obvious what will did he called her trying to do a a a a a a a a a a a a thuggish like move which it wasn't but he called himself trying to do one you know, to Chris Rock though, man, really, miss me with that BS for real, because I don't think I'm, and I'm gonna still say it, Chris Rock didn't deserve it. He did not deserve that at all, mainly because what he said was a complete nothing burger of a joke, and what he said was actually more like like somebody said a compliment. It was actually a compliment because Demi Moore, Eva Blow, you know, wasn't a bad looking chick. You wouldn't. You wouldn't throw throw the baby out the bad boy. Let's put it like that. The high up they say it. You know. And it could have very well gotten her a shot at a, a comeback film. You know. Chris Rock may have very well done that for her. I don't know. Just saying. He may have done it. Inadvertently. You know. That was a nod to her. He was get, really giving a nod to her. The halopecia means nothing at that point. And who take that seriously? Halopecia, number one, millions of folks have that. Millions of men have that. You know? Millions of women have it, too. That's why you got a lot of women out here wearing hair pieces of weaves. That's exactly why. Let's, let's, keep, it, let's keep that a buck. And you get mad because Rick, Chris Rock told you that? You know? I mean, if you think about it, it wasn't even really a joke. It was more like a compliment, but it wasn't really a joke. But it was a very lighthearted joke. It was just a very lighthearted compliment joke, and you took it way too seriously. You know? And yes, we're going to say her and Will. You know? Yeah, we're going to say her and Will. 
Because like somebody said, even my, even my wife even said, she said, I would have never allowed you to make yourself a fool out of yourself after that. On the night of the biggest night of your entire career, let alone existence, you know, the night, the entire night of your, the entire, the, the entire, are they going around circles? No, they're not going around, oh my God, they're going around circles. Side somewhere. I don't know where this accident is. How did they find the accident? I can't tell if they're trying to come up here or not. Or what they're doing here. Okay, well, let me pull over anyway. Can't tell which way they're trying to go here. They're trying to come up here. How's this accident at? That's why they're going to have to re do this daggone place, man. People don't stop around here for nothing, do they? I'm the risk busting my tire open. These people do not stop. Some of y'all fools need to pull over to the damn side. <laughs> Boy, I swear. Come on. Really? Are people that damn stupid? Are really? Are they really that damn stupid? They damn. They, these folks are that damn stupid. You couldn't see the damn fire trucks coming here from a mile back behind you, flashing, and you hearing the sirens. Like, Ooh. come on, y'all. Could you really get any more stupid than that? And they still won't move. Oh my god. I saw fire trucks going one way, then I saw them going the other direction. They like they don't even know where they're going. That's another whole story. That's anyway. But what I'm saying is, it's just that Jada was dating a certain caliber of guys before she met Will. That's one of the reasons why she didn't want to get married. Will wasn't the kind of guy she wanted to really be married to. He was just a guy she just wanted to be with for the moment because he was such a nice guy. He was the guy that treated her nice, buy her flowers and roses, put pillows on the bed, petals on the bed, you know, candy and diamonds and all that stuff. You know. Now, Pac, I don't know how far the relationship went. You know, I heard rumor that they actually were an item. Then I heard they were just really close friends. Then I heard they might they were just, you know, regular F buddies, if you know what I mean. But I don't know which way it went on that with them too, but they were, but I understand they were very close. And the thing of it is, he was the kind of guy that she really adored outside of the relationship she had with Will. By her own admission, you know, that she adored him. She did. You know, why else would a 10 year old uh, girl, her daughter, write that heartfelt letter to Tupac talking about she wished she was back so she could make her mom, his mom, her mama happy because Jada has cried about it apparently probably I'm going to say apparently apparently probably apparently dropped, uh, cried about it many nights over why else would her daughter write that kind of letter because Jada obviously felt some way about Tupac the way she didn't feel about Will and I hate to say there's no doubt about that. There's no doubt in my mind. She felt a specific certain way about Tupac that she never felt about Will. And probably to this day. That's the sad part. And, I, and, I, and I'm not going to lie. I don't like what Will did. I don't like what he did to Chris Rock. And I don't like the fact that he used Chris Rock as an example to call himself trying to protect black women. Because that was the sorriest reason to protect a black woman in the history of trying to protect a black woman. That was the sorriest excuse for ever doing it to another man, for ever punching a sucker punching man or a slapping man at all. That was the worst excuse I've ever heard. You know, 
he was really doing to call himself trying to uh, stay in stay, uh, good, in good graces with Jaden. That's the real, that's the actual reason she, he did it. You know, had nothing to do about that joke. I'm very sure it had nothing. I, I can tell you right up front, it had nothing to do with the joke. The way Will was laughing, and I, and I evaluated it many times over myself, it didn't have a damn thing to do with the joke at all. Will's reasoning for punching Chris Rock was because of Jaden. Him having her stay in his good graces. Or him being in her good graces, rather. Will being in Jaden's good graces is the only reason Will did that. And he had to come up with a lame ass excuse why he did it. And he still hasn't publicly apologized to Chris Rock. I know some of these lames going to say, oh yeah, he already did. He already did. He sat there and he wrote a Twitter page. That Twitter don't mean nothing because it's not genuine to me. It's absolutely not. Not in the least. You know, he apologized to the Academy. He kind of apologized to his family, I guess. You know, the night that night that it happened, he should apologize to Chris Rock. He didn't, as far as we know, he didn't do that to August Alcina, although I think he may have because it was a, and I'm not 100% about that, but I do remember I saw August Alcina in the video not long after the entanglement video came out, and he looked like he had a black eye. And I'm thinking, oh, Will must have whooped your ass. And I said that then, that was two years ago. And he probably did. I don't know it to be a fact, but he might have, who knows? You know? Like somebody said, that's what he should have did all because I was saying if he didn't do it already, that's what he should have done. You know. You know. But it, it's kind of a like I said, and although I do I said I, I ain't gonna lie, I do feel bad about Will's situation overall. Because he knew better than to do that. To a guy that was his friend. You know. Now, how close of friends they were, I don't know. But for a, especially a Hollywood heavyweight like Chris Rock, because Chris Rock is considered an A-list. You may not think he's an A-list uh, comedian, but he's definitely an A-list celebrity. There's no doubt about that. You know, this is a guy who had hit television shows and, and some hit films. You know, he he's actually made a name for himself, just like Will Smith did. So he is a, he's as much of an A-lister as Will Smith is. I don't give a damn what anybody's saying. He is a major player, a major player out. Chris Rock, Rock has been in some big films, several big films, just like Will Smith has. You know. But nevertheless, my thing is that I do feel bad for Will in some respects because he's getting played. By Jada, but he let her do it. He let her. Do it. Yes, I'm gonna say it. he let her do it, and some of it by his own admission that he let her do it. You know, if you watch some of the videos where he talks about about the relationship, their unorthodox, slightly unorthodox relationship. You'll hear him kind of telling you that if you listen. And to me, it's kind of shocking. And I and I'm like. And you wonder why it, it, it hasn't worked the way that you think it should work. Hmm. You know? But like they say, give a ninja a rope. They want to be a cowboy, Gus. Hmm. Just saying. So you gave her enough rope and you thought uh, she was going to stop there. And she kept on moving it right into where it got entangled. You know? I, I don't get it, you know. I don't get it. I know, like I said, I'll never understand why he married her in the first place. You know, I watched the movie roles and stuff, and I like I watched her. I used to love watching her on uh, uh, Dem- a Different World, and I never thought she was married to Marion Tyke, let alone marriage material. I never thought that, not once, not once. You know. And consider Will was already married when he was chasing after Jada to Sheree, who's a very attractive woman. You know, dare I say, probably as attractive as Jada, not more attractive to me. You know, 
But I'm just saying, you know, actually, I, I, I scratch my head on that. I don't understand uh, why this guy, the most bankable star in Hollywood, a listen still down for just Pink and Smell. Never understood that. Never understood that. You know, just saying. But, you know, he got what he wanted. The heart wanted what he wanted. And for 25 years, he dealt with it. You know. Now, there has been rumors about Will having a rumors. I don't know if it's true or not. I can't substantiate it, and nor will I. Um, but there have been rumors that he he was kind of out and about having affairs too. I, I don't know if he did or not. As far as I'm concerned, it's just hearsay. Will's never openly talked about it, so as far as I'm concerned, it didn't happen. You know, as far as I'm concerned, Will was not there like that. Not like Jay. Will definitely wanted to be married. You know, and, and as far as I know, he did. Jada, I'm not sure about it. Just saying. Just saying. So, and I don't, but to tell you the truth, uh, there was something that came, there, there was some articles, a couple media sources that said that she did not like what Will did at the Academy Awards or what they call <laughs> the Mini Source Awards. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Uh, but they don't... She didn't like what he did. Like somebody said, she didn't stand up for Will either. She didn't stand behind the Oscar speech that he made about standing up for his wife. She never... From, from my gathering, she didn't stand up for it. She didn't stand for him, stand up for her. And I haven't heard anything public that I can acknowledge that she did that as of yet. Not to say she didn't, I didn't hear it. Not even on television. So, I don't know. Right now, right now, to be honest with you guys, ladies and gentlemen, Jada might be looking for out in this relationship. One of the things, and I'm not sure, but one of the things that I speculate as the reason why Jada is always throwing Will under the bus and why Will allows her to do it because she's probably holding something over his head. And one thing I think she's holding him over his head is the fact that they probably don't even have a prenup. I'm not saying if they do or not. I don't have any proof of it. But that's a possibility. You know, usually when a guy is trying to bend over backwards like that, then he know that, or at least I think he he may realize it, but not 100% uh, realize that she may not be in him like he wants her to be. You know, he'll work as hard as he can for it to be in it, for, for him to be in her graces. But that's probably because she, you know, he, he's concerned that maybe you know one day she'll she use against him. And he always seems like he's trying to prove his undying love for her all the time. He named the house he named the house after her. He didn't name the lake after her. The lake I think is where the house is attached to. Named it after her. If I'm not mistaken. You know, he's always propping Jada up. Always. So I know from what I've seen and what I hear that he really does love her. I don't think she's giving him the same love back. That's what I feel bad about. I don't think she does. And she doesn't always seem like she shows it. I don't, I don't, I just. Especially in several interviews I've seen her over the years. It, does, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't reverberate the same. It doesn't come off the same to me. 
you know, it really don't. It really don't. Well, one thing I'm gonna say is, might be time for you shopping around, well, you know. But I will say before you do that, get your career back on track, bro. Make that public apology to Chris Rock. Get your career back on track. Make amends to all your friends that you disappointed. And uh, as well as all those people who work behind the scenes for you all these years, right up to the Academy Awards. You really owe it to them. You owe them that major, major, uh, I'm sorry, what can I do to, 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 to uh, get you back in my good grace, uh, get back in your good graces again type deal. He owes that to his staff, his production company, his family, his friends, and his fans. He really does. Because this is a roller coaster ride. No one thought that would come crashing like it did. Nobody. I'm out.